what's up it's your boy serrano welcome back to another video so today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the q by x70 let's just jump into it without any further talking but to all my budget um friendly people who are looking for a really uh, solid smartphone this is definitely a video you want to check out to the end of the video so make sure you stay locked in with me but if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new but if you're already a part of the crew salute so i'm gonna go ahead and open up this packaging right here and it's gonna be the qbot x70 inside of this box so i'm gonna go ahead and um unwrap the packaging it's actually protected with some styrofoam and i'll make sure i leave the cheapest link i got this for about 159 but this is gonna have some really solid specs on here we get a five a 6.583 inch full hd plus back camera is 100 megapixels which is insane that's insane for this price that you're going to be spending for um you know, it's un unheard of then you get a 32 megapixel which is nuts uh this is going to have the uh media tech helio g um 99 or something like that which is a real capable gaming processing chip it should be able to play genshin impact if i'm not mistaken but i'll let you guys know for sure once i get it um on out of the box and start running uh getting some more use out of here and powered by android 13 type c charging the power brick is 20 watts and um 5200 milliamp per hour battery and then you get the x70 in this black um box and we're gonna take a look at the texture of the box it says qbot on the side of the box and that's really all that you could see for the unboxing experience. I'm going to cut it right on the seam so I could get a nice clean cut. All right, we've got the seam cut. Let's go ahead and rip off the plastic film. And this, this box actually feels really premium. It has a nice textured look to it, which feels like Look, it looks like almost like metal with, with the with the, the finish, but it's actually just cardboard or whatever. And so let's go ahead and pop the top. All right, so I'm gonna put this top off to the side. And here you're gonna see the phone right away and you're gonna get the user um, like accessories right here for the user. And so let's go ahead and take this out now it does have a uk brick which is like 20 watts obviously you get your type c to type a cable in here too for some pretty decently quick charging for this price you get headphones with a type c connector in there and it's got that airpod look to it like the original with the cord so i'm probably gonna use this because i was just thinking about how Apple had carried out that design for so long. And you do get a SIM ejection tool with like the plastic on it, which kind of um, distinguishes it from other manufacturers. So the brick, obviously it's gonna be that international brick, but this thing should have the bands to be used on Metro by T-Mobile, Team AT&T, um, everything that's a GSM network. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead, it has a case on this, I'm going to take that off and you're getting a thank you note underneath. Let's put this off to the side. It does say undetachable battery and this has a plastic film on here. Inside of this compartment, you're getting your quick start guide. I'll toss that to the side. We'll look at that after. Probably not, but you can see right there you get the rest of the contents in there. So I'm going to put this away, pack it up and now I'm gonna take a look at the phone, kind of focus on the phone. Just the unboxing experience, we might test out the cameras in a little bit more detail in this video. And then in the next video, we'll run some tests on the the the, 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 what the main things about it. So it kind of feels thick right now. It does kind of feel like a chunky um, thing right here. It's nice and has a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. So it has the plastic case that comes with it. That's awesome. It also does have a screen protector on there, which is also pretty cool. Um, it does have a nice design on here. Let's go ahead, rip this sticker off. And what's really crazy is this reflective design that it's got going on for it. It does say Qbot here down below. It has like a 
curve on the back, which is nice, but the sides are actually flat. You have the SIM re remover slot right here. Um, I'm trying to see if I have a pin. I'm gonna use the pin that they provided in here because I don't see any next to me. Oh wait, there's actually one over here that I'm gonna see. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna see what the compartment looks like for the SD. So you get two slots, one that can, that can have your Nano or a regular SIM and then expansion or just two SIMs or one SIM and one SD. So that's pretty much that. Everything that I read on the box is actually on this piece of paper. Your screen protector at the top. And the, the screen protector is still on there because you get the, they have the pre-installed one right here. And you can see the device does have that waterfall drop notch at the top. The case does kind of feel a little bit flimsy, but it's kind of cool that they did add that in the experience. So that's something that that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead, power this thing on and take a look at the rest of the body while it's powering on. So you get type C two um, slots right here for these are ports. One is a speaker. One might be another speaker. I'm not sure yet, but I think that's a microphone at the top. You only have you only have one microphone at the bottom. So that has to be the microphone on the bottom along with the speaker. And then you get this this um, camera setup, which is at this point in time has been um, it's not a new camera design because I remember this camera design has been out for a long time now. So they didn't try to innovate when it came to the camera design, but you can see the back of the phone looks, it, it just looks insane. It looks crazy. It looks like you're looking at, uh, like, like a, inside of a, uh, like if you ever broke open, I don't know, a radio or a computer or something, you can see all those like cool little little um gad like gizmos in there like little ports or whatever the camera has this like textured uh little thing on here it's like it, it kind of hovers over top of it over the top of the 100 megapixel camera and then obviously you're getting two extra cameras on here which i'm not sure what the what the um specs are for that you get the this option right here with for emergency calling English vision settings let's click English you could also change it to the personal preference of your choice now the sides are flat giving it a nice feel in the hand it has a nice feel in the hand and I like that this device does have 120 Hertz you could actually insert your sim card at this time but then you could also actually set up your Wi-Fi nice haptics on here when vibration feels has like a decent vibration motor and the frame is it feels like metal i'm not sure if it's real metal i have to put it next to my window to see if it's cold to the touch when i take it off but immediately it's asking me to update the phone right now and it says download and update and restart let's hit next and see what that's going to do but it looks like this is mandatory. So at this moment in time, I'm gonna pause the video, but the device is at 47% battery. So just keep that in mind when I come back, okay? So the installation is actually finished right here, as you can see, let's hit next. We're gonna just start it as a brand new phone. It says, find your old device cables, use a cable that fits your old device. This is usually the cable used for charging. So they want to make sure right here you use the right one. And obviously this looks like a type C port. Let me, let me make sure that right here. Yup, it's the type C port. So I'm not sure why they put that there. Okay, I got a nice charge notification there. So, yup. Then it says insert your, your old cable. Let's hit next. I think this is just for basically transfer in or whatever don't copy so I'm gonna hit don't copy but you obviously have the option to use a, a cable to actually transfer data from an old device to a newer device so this is the setup right here it says right here you can skip this setup for Google Play Store let's hit more and the device is loading up at this very moment it has a nice weight to it. It feels pretty, pretty nice. 
it does gather some fingerprints so I'm looking at the back of it and there are a few fingerprints on the back so it does have like a glossy material to it um, but you could set up a pin right out of the gun I'm gonna get that started it feels really good in one hand really nice um, style of a device one-handed device right here uh, that's agreed to the terms and conditions side mounted fingerprint with a volume rocker right above it so let's test out the fingerprint sensor which seems to be operating very snappy and I'm gonna get my left finger locked in on here so we can actually have a device unlock for security measures and add my thumb on the other side so that we can use both hands with the security features it also does appear to have facial unlock and that 32 megapixel camera I'm looking forward to testing that I'm also looking out forward to testing out the 108 megapixel camera in the rear you get gestures and buttons as an option and the display looks great it looks really good um, you could feel the 120 Hertz refresh rate is actually feels like it's locked in right now NFC you will get with this device you also do have 5 gigahertz network 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 you get your QR scanner you get your dark themes auto rotate color inversion NFC is the thing that I like to see right here but in addition to that they got extra dim they got calculator they have the live caption they have security and privacy focus mode bedtime mode and file storage those are some of the options you can drag up um, mic access right here too camera access as well data saver and so I'm gonna leave the rest actually I'll just drag all of them up here since they have that option to make them all fit on the same space so you get all your panels right here at the top and you can see all of them right here lined up on top of one another let's go into settings and you get your um, Wi-Fi right there connected devices right here including your NFC you get your notifications as well um, so the device looks like it's got a really beautiful panel on it you get your dark theme you get adaptive brightness lock screen after 30 seconds or up to 30 minutes you also have that option to see screen attention so if you're looking at it says prevents your screen from turning off you're looking at it uh, font size wallpaper type refresh rate it's at 60 right now and what's crazy about this device is you can actually change it from 9 60 90 or 120 um, that's crazy I never seen a device offer all three options not even a flagship phone that I've that I, any of the flagship devices that I've been using don't offer that lift to wake so wow that's crazy I, it felt like it was 120 out of the box but it was actually 60 and um, you obviously you're gonna get better battery life when it comes to the 60 but 120 it felt really quick at 60 so 120 is gonna further improve the smoothness but I'm, I'm my mind is kind of trying to wrap I'm trying to wrap my head around the fact that it has all three as a budget phone I never seen that feature before sound and vibration so you you can get your touch tones as well sound enhancement so hi-fi mode for high fidelity audio on here which is really nice to see um, so some nice features right out of the box you get your security off right here you can see it's on june 5th 2023 uh android 13 is on here so i just did an update so it, that's something really nice to see the apps let's go into the battery and you can see the battery settings right here um you get the battery saver schedule battery turn off when charged uh, display battery percentage you get storage right here and you can see it's at 256 gigabytes um, that's impressive 256 gigabytes for this um, device has a really good feel in the hand and accessibility color and motion um, some accessibility options here audio let me see what I saw something in there that said audio 
description right there audio adjustment right here and um, fingerprint let's go right here answer so you would you could do a lot of things with the fingerprint so it has a lot of cool features you can mess around with memory expansion up to 12 gigabytes add an additional 12 gigabytes of memory out of the box and then that's pretty much everything dura speed which when i see that on the device i don't really use it but here are your specs 12 gigabytes you get your x70 right here android 13 running out of the box let's take take a look at the cameras and then we'll wrap up the video but um so far I'm, I'm impressed with the storage and the display right now that's crazy system manager so you can actually optimize this thing it also has a gaming mode built right in this is insane this thing is packed with a ton of features on it and so you can you can um let's let's mess around with this for a little bit block incoming calls clean up memory game list so i didn't have any games on here but that's 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 really nice to see on a device like this uh you also do have your your sound recorder your google apps clock google keep child mode contacts files calculator sound recorder um i'm trying to see if it has an fm radio it doesn't look like it has an fm radio no app tray right now let me long hold the display go to home settings and so if i click launcher style it click the default that's when i'll get the app tray and this thing flies right now it's flying through so based on what i'm seeing here there's no fm radio which is straight because i don't really use that i use spotify services and you know things to that extent soundcloud even pandora nowadays when i'm browsing but i'm just going to open up the camera and you can see right here it has the 100 megapixel camera mode so let's take a picture let me put it in the sideways fashion there's also a hdr setting so you could turn that off on or ai smart photo is open so that's going to customize it and let you know what you're taking it says people when i do that so i just took a shot the zoom goes up to 10 times um zoom it looks like so when it comes to getting close-up details that's going to be insane and then you have your more settings so you got pro mode portrait for taking selfies wow the front facing camera just looks real clean i'm going to show you all those pictures as well nighttime mode is on here you also do get um video mode on here which let me go into the settings for video mode and it's got 2k video recording 2k video recording so not not 4k but 2k which is really good i like how they did that then it has the frame rate so you can mess around with that audio auto with 30 frames shutter sound video quality is you could change that obviously um i don't see anything that stabilizes the video here but you get anti-flicker frame rate face detection when it comes to the rear camera or the front camera for video if i go into the settings right now uh it goes up to 1080 on the front so that's actually very impressive very impressive let's take a quick video hey what's up it's your boy serrano this is the front facing camera on the qbot x70 let me know how the quality looks and then i'm going to do a um, video of the rear the shutter button actually starts recording very quickly so let me show you what it looks like when it's focusing in on objects on the rear camera cool so this is pretty much the unboxing of the cubot x70 let me know what you guys think about it it's got a nice frame on here metal edges feels really nice in the hand the fingerprint actually is fast it is very fast it's lightning fast um, this thing has really good optimization when it comes to the overall experience because you're getting the 90 hertz, 120 hertz, or 60 hertz. You're also getting a 5,000 
milliamp hour battery with 5,200 um, milliamp hour battery. And then you're getting a, a huge display, 5.8 inches. But this looks like a beast. It's, um, it's definitely something that is pretty crazy. It's got a couple of different designs. So you could pick the design that you want with it. But I liked this one because it had that psychedelic um, color scheme to it with the pattern on the back, which made it look kind of pop when I was looking at it. I'm going to check you guys later. Make sure, Let me know what you guys think. If you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. But I'm going to um, make sure you watch another video on the left or the right-hand corner. Follow me on social media, and I'll check you guys later. Later, group. Peace.